We take a first step forward now towards solutions in our community. Tonight, Gabri Gagadis has been listening to the community's voices today. She's continuing our live team coverage from the 26 and Broadway area. Tonight. Yeah, Doug, things are looking very different here compared to what we saw all day yesterday. No groups, no protesters. And one of my biggest takeaways from my conversations with people here is as a first step, they want their voices to be heard. West Louisville is a community that feels like it's been put in the back burner for years, and they're hoping the recent events are a wake up call. Hear their pain and let them know that that someone is listening to what they're saying. Metro Council President David James says that the council is trying to do their parts by drawing out an action plan. It requires everybody to work together, requires allies with one another uh, to make this happen because in the end, we're going to be a lot better when we get to the other side of this. We need the officers who committed these acts against Breonna Taylor. We need them to be held accountable. And we need justice here, too. We need to know what happened as quickly as possible. We caught up with Louisville Urban League CEO and President Sadiqwa Reynolds Tuesday while covering the police-involved shooting of David McAtee. In trying times like this, she says it's important to choose faith over defeat. I think the community should understand that we are closer than we probably have ever been. Across the country, we are seeing um, mayors and, 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 and people respond to law enforcement's behavior. Minneapolis, we don't have full justice, but we have something. Here we've seen some changes. Restless Emmanuel Mitchell has devoted his time protesting for justice these last few days and would like to see it pay off. If that's what it takes for the peace, I'm going to put my life in jeopardy. I don't need your money. I don't need none of that. If we can get the justice that we need, do you know how valuable that's going to be to the people? Dr. Ruth Wilson, a pastor in West Louisville, says a change also starts with us. To stop the violence, number one. We need to stop tearing up our community. The need for leaders as myself to take a stand, make a stand. want to see the leaders they elect. Committee members also tell me they want to see the leaders they elected to show up for them, come out to their neighborhoods and have those face to face conversations to get a better idea of what their needs are. Live in West Louisville, Sinai Gabrigadigas, WHS 11 News.